ahead. Now what we're looking at, you ready? Mm -hmm. Now what we're looking at here is, when I've removed the stick hopper, these are just some things to check if we have problems on the cabinet side of our 110 volt power. If we come in here, zoom in on this bar right here, this bar right here, where I'm taking my pin and pointing, these are 11 connections that are soldered together. On occasion, these, a couple of these solder joints have been either cold or have melted and, and have not made connection. To verify that you've got the 110 volts, if we look at this little black box right here, this is a, sol a mechanical solenoid. It actually feeds power, gets power from the 110 volt um, fuse that you saw down below or that's down below behind the machine comes up to this wire right here. This would have a constant 110 volts on it. So if you pull this loose and measure it, you'll see 110 volts. When you do a test number nine for about five seconds, you'll hear this relay click. When it clicks, you'll sh you should have 110 or 120 volts on this wire here, which then feeds this row, which powers all the treks for the different uh, modes with spin, spin motor, um, heating elements, etc. So these are just some of the things to check behind the heating element to see if, if maybe a problem is back in here.